Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh did you want to? Sorry. sorry, I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. In the aftermath of the Me Too movement and the gender equality protests within the movie industry, Hollywood moved on to producing films like Ghostbusters and Ocean's 8, with women as lead actors. Can't we just go to this? Do we have to steal stuff? These yes. features portrayed females in strong roles that were, in the past, mostly reserved for men. But Charlie's Angels has been using women as action stars since the 1970s. First as a spy spoof, the franchise has reinvented itself as a blockbusting film series in the early 2000s. At a time when male-led productions dominated the box office, these films managed to climb to the top of the charts. Critics then noted that these features were a fun tongue-in-cheek reinvention of action cinema with women. I'm the lead programmer on a product that can revolutionize the power industry. And now, almost 20 years later, in the age of Me Too, the franchise has been brought back to multiplexes once again. In this incarnation, the covert operation unit, Charlie's Angels, are brought in to prevent a dangerous new technology from falling into the wrong hands. This is definitely a straight action film. But according to those involved with the production, the predecessing films were a guiding light. I compressed his carotid and deoxygenated his brainstem. Well, that sounds painful. Don't worry, he's gonna wake up. Unless he doesn't. We have these exceptional superhero women. And now um, we're a network of women connected and supporting each other and aware of each other and at ease and not working so hard to be sexy or cool, but just active and just pushing, uh, sort of like, you know, pushing the envelope. Let's get the weapon before it becomes every bad guy's favorite new toy. The film has received praise from media outlets for having a female sitting on the director's chair which in turn is believed to have contributed to the performances of the film's leads. Ah, we're still in the first closet. There's another closet. Oh my God. I really wanted to build on the themes of camaraderie and sorority and sisterhood and teamwork that um, I thought worked so well in the Pitch Perfect franchise that I made. And um, this, this just seemed like such an incredible opportunity to blend all that in an action movie. So far, the film has tanked at the U.S. box office with an $8 million opening. But despite not being able to repeat the financial success of the 2000 version, Rotten Tomatoes has called it an energetic film that adds new flair to the franchise.